My iPad has become a perfect life companion. I use it as a productivity device, especially for anything involving handwritten notes, journaling, or digital planning. I have to admit, it took me some time to find my footing, especially finding a note-taking app that was right for me. I tested quite a few and spent some money doing so. I'm Jean with Paperlike, and I do believe that if you're just starting out, you should definitely be on the lookout for free apps. These will help you understand what your needs are before investing in a premium solution. So today, I'll be taking a closer look at five apps that are either free or that have completely functional free plans. I've said it many times before and will probably say it some more. If you just got an iPad and are looking for an app to start taking notes, Apple Notes is a great place to start. It comes with the usual tools like pens, highlighters, a ruler or a pencil tool. They're all arranged in a toolbar that can be moved around on the screen. It natively supports handwriting and type text on the same page. It has a pretty intuitive PDF support since iPadOS 17 and recognizes handwritten phone numbers, dates, addresses and other data. This enables you to actually schedule reminders directly from your notes or calling a number by just pressing it on your notes. My absolute favorite feature within Apple Notes is Quick Notes. I love how easy it is to bring on just by swiping or tapping on my iPad screen when it's off. iPadOS 17 also brought to us the ability to link notes between each other. This makes it easy to create complex databases and navigate between your notes. Actually, that's one of the big, big pluses for me because I use it a lot. Against it, I'd say that it lacks some customization features. For example, you can't even create a template so it might feel a little boring, I would say, for some users. Another thing is that although you can handwrite and type in the same page, it's not possible to do so in the same space. And finally, Apple Notes has no onboard syncing for anything else than iCloud. Well, it's possible to sync your notes to other cloud services, but it takes a little work. Again, it's not a perfect app, but if you're just starting out, this is a great tool. And let's not forget that it comes pre-installed with every Apple device. So why not take advantage of it? Widely popular, OneNote is the go-to app for thousands of note takers using it across different platforms. Its interface feels quite familiar. Anyone who used Word, Excel, or PowerPoint in the past will find OneNote very easy to navigate. And the UI stays the same across all platforms. Now, the app is geared more towards keyboard note takers, but its handwritten component works beautifully and doesn't make you switch modes or move to a different section to handwrite, which I believe is really, really great. Notes in the year actually work as an open canvas, so you can zoom in for a better space optimization. It features an in-color selector, unlike any other app. It has options like Galaxy, Marble, or Glitter Colors, for example, and it comes with a math assistant and an audio recording tool. Against it is the fact that similarly to Apple Notes, it only backs up on its own servers. So it's impossible for you to back it up in an other cloud service than OneDrive. Another thing is that the app being free, it only comes with five gigabytes of data storage on OneDrive, which if you're a power user might not be enough and it might lead you to actually upgrade to a paid solution in OneDrive. Other than that, and that's my humble opinion, I think that OneNote feels a little dated. It could benefit from a facelift and from more frequent updates. But having said all this, OneNote is actually a pretty complete app if you're just starting out, especially if you want to stay on top of your notes using devices that run on different ecosystems. Colonote used to be completely free. Although a premium version was launched late 2023, every single feature I'll list here is available on the free plan as well. And hopefully that won't change because honestly, Colonel's free plan is one of the most usable on the market. The app provides a solid note-taking experience with simple and intuitive tools that look good and feel great to use. The note-taking toolkit gives you everything you'll need to take great notes, including a pen and a pencil, a color fill tool, among other cool stuff like great PDF markup, an audio recording tool and links between pages. Yeah, just like Apple Notes, you can link your pages 
bridges between each other. Collaboration features make it very easy for you to work with other note takers out there. And there is also this little feature that lets you add a papery sound effect when you're writing. It feels kind of gimmicky, but the effort is appreciated. Now, if you want your iPad to really sound and feel like paper, then a screen protector by Paperlite is a great option for you. Our screen protectors mimic the sound and feel of paper when using your Apple Pencil. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, back to Colanote and with some cons. The first one I see is that it's Apple only. And the second, probably the biggest one, is that the UI is an acquired taste. The blocky windows and multiple toggles give the app a unique feel, but it may not be for everyone. Okay, I admit, this one is kind of a cop-out suggestion, but I really feel that GoodNote 6's free version is very much usable for you guys. I know you're limited to three notebooks, but there is no actual limit to how much you can write in those notebooks. So theoretically, you can write in them indefinitely. GoodNote 6's free plan comes with everything unlocked meaning that you can use their full toolkit, the PDF annotation is a breeze on this app, and even the free plan comes with some pretty cool unique features. The AI handwriting tools are actually pretty useful, and its audio recording tool, while it's limited to 20 minutes on the free version, is always nice to have. Sharing and exporting features are also unlocked on the free version, as well as the collaboration features. I know, some of you will ask, but why don't you recommend Notability as well? But Hold on your horses, please. While I love Notability and feel that in many respects it surpasses good notes, Notability does not allow for any type of backup on their free version. Sorry, Notability. I love you guys. I love your app. But no backup is a no-go for me. And the last tab on this list is one that I really enjoy using. Nebo is a paid app. I know but its free version is actually a free trial that never ends, meaning that every single feature is completely unlocked on the free app. It comes with a great toolkit, even better Apple Pencil tuning, and the best handwriting to text conversion on the market. No, no, it, it really is like the best by far. And what's up with Nebo's AI Assistant? Similar to what you find on Notion, Nebo's AI Assistant can summarize a text. You can ask for explanations on some events. Basically, you can ask it for anything. Nebo allows for two types of notes, a classical layout for a handwritten text and a blank canvas similar to what you'd find on Freeform. And that's where the free plans limitation lies. Nebo's free version only allows you to create five different notes. But similarly to good notes, there is no limit to how much you can write in those notes. So for anyone who's starting out, this might just be what you need. Another drawback is the lack of an audio recording tool, but basically that's it. For a free option, this is definitely one to look out for. Okay, everyone, that was my list, but which ones do I use? Well, I personally use two of them. I use Apple Notes for anything that's linked to work, like meeting notes or my video scripts, mostly because it's just so easy to pop. And for digital planning or journaling, I use GoodNote 6. Now, that's what works for me. It doesn't mean this will work for you, but I'm confident that testing all five apps I recommended here will help you understand your needs to ultimately make an informed decision when you decide to go for a premium solution. Well, if you decide to do so. And that, my friends, pretty much rounds up this video. I really hope this was helpful to you. If you're already using a note-taking app but are looking for a digital planner, you should definitely check out our latest video where I go over Paperlike's Digital Pro Planner. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.